take you through. Okay, I want to welcome you to the Freedom Equity Group call. Uh, this is normally hosted by uh, Brian Daly, who is on the phone line, uh, does not have access to uh, Internet uh, at the moment, so I'll be conducting the entire call for the next 30 minutes. But uh, as I said, I want to welcome you to the call, and I want to get right into it. You know, Freedom Equity Group, I mean, our goal is real simple. We want to build the largest agency in America by teaching people some real simple fundamental things that I think over time have been overlooked. Um, and when I look at what we do, there's a couple of things. We call it a mission. Some might call it a crusade. But there's a few simple things. One is to reduce or eliminate the trillions of dollars of consumer debt right now in this country. Uh, and I needless to say, it's become a very, very big problem uh, for people and for families. To change lives and protect families. Now, that sounds like a cliche. But the fact is we, in fact, do that and we affect people's lives in, in many different ways. And for me, one of the most important things is to help you achieve your dreams. And I think that over the last several years with a banking crisis and a real estate bubble that burst, I think a lot of people have uh, hunkered down, if you will, and focused on survival and those dreams of, or aspirations of being financially independent or being successful or having better lives has been, uh, you know, suppressed. And uh, I, I think we have an answer for that. Uh, I'm not saying it's the only answer, but I think it's a real good one. So let me get right to it, and let's start with one of the biggest problems in this country is American household debt. As you can see on the slide, today – there's over $11 trillion in consumer debt in this country. Um, $848 billion of that is in credit card debt. Um, $7.9 trillion in mortgages, and yes, $1.6 trillion in student loans. And in my opinion, that'll be the next bubble that's going to burst because unfortunately we have kids, you know, 20 to 30 years old coming out of school with degrees, they can't find jobs in their own field, but yet they're, they're heavily burdened with student loans uh, to, to really high numbers, as, as I said, $1.6 trillion. So what does the average household look like? Average credit card debt, a little over 15000 Average mortgage, somewhere around about 150000 These are national averages, folks. Average student loan debt, $33,000, and the average auto loan, just over 15000 so the tune of over 200000 is the average household debt in this country. Now, I know we have some people on here that may be in California, different parts of the country. I can tell you even in the Northeast, these numbers are incredibly low. I'm sure there's some parts that they may even seem a little high, but I think we'd all agree that on a national level, these are relatively low statistics, but they're yet big, big numbers for people to overcome. Uh, what we do is we say, look, most people today don't have a plan. Uh, we've got a program called the Common Sense Debt Elimination Program through Freedom Equity Group, and we show people how you can pay your bills off instead of just paying on them. Get rid of the monthly bills in a third of the time without paying one dime more on a monthly basis. So if you look at the left side of the screen here, you have what we call no plan. No plan is something like this here. Yeah, I pay my bills every month, and if I ask someone, what is the date that you'll be out of debt, or what is your freedom date? Most people don't know. Sometimes they know on their mortgage, but as far as installment loans, you know, credit card debt, that type of thing, they really have no idea. So here's an example, and by the way, this is a true example. This is a real family. Spending $3,200 a month, uh, they've got 29 years to pay off their debt, and they're gonna, their total interest cost is $392,000 of interest. Now, with our plan, if you notice, we take the same amount of money, the same budget, $3,216.78, but look at the years to pay off, 12.2 years versus 29.8 years. Total interest costs $158,000. That's a savings of over 234,000 and roughly 17 and a half years off their current debt. But it gets better than that, folks. See, what we give them is a roadmap. And, and in addition to saving thousands of dollars of interest, we also show them how they can have a potential $2 million 
tax-free savings plan illustrated at 8%. And you'll see that here at age 61, potentially over a million dollars, and at age 65, over two million. And that is basically by restructuring debt without them spending one penny more. See, folks, what our software, our proprietary software, this is mathematics, it's not magic. What we're doing is we're giving people a roadmap like you see on the screen right now, where once they enter in some information about their situation, their debt, when it's going to be paid off, what the interest rate is, they enter in some data and this prints out a roadmap that goes on all the way until the final debt is paid. I call it a GPS. You know, when you, if you've got a GPS in your car, you know what I mean by a GPS, and that is it's, you know, drive one mile, take a left. Drive three miles, take exit B. Uh, drive, you know, it gives you step by step, and it gives people ease. If you're in the car and you're driving a place you've never been to, I think you'd all agree that GPS just gives you comfort that, okay, I know where I'm going. I'll get there. I just follow the instructions. Well, that's exactly what this software program does. It gives them a line by line, one, two, three, here's what you pay, here's what it's for, here's the date it's due, that's the day you write the check. But notice here number one. The number one item says retirement plan payment. Within that $3,200 budget, we have found $272 per month for this couple in addition to paying off their debt in 12 years that they can allocate towards, we call it a retirement plan, it could be uh, a, a, a savings, it could be a college plan, it doesn't matter what it is. The point is, while they're paying off their debt in a third of the time, they're also allocating money towards a, uh, a savings plan. So think of the positive uh, feature that that brings to a family. Uh, every time they pay, or every time a month goes by, they not only have reduced their debt, but they've increased their retirement. I think you'd all agree one of our slogans is help America retire in dignity. Well, you can't retire in dignity with a load of debt. Uh, you've got to have an income, preferably tax-free, that you can't outlive, but you also have to have eliminated all the debt. So this is just a quick highlight of the program. And in fact, folks, we help people and we're rewarded. Uh, in our program, this is not a product that requires any licensing for. People can earn part-time anywhere from $45 to $135 to share this relatively inexpensive program, $349 for the software um, with people and, and get paid to do it. Now, in talking about this retirement plan or tax-free plan, you know that we, I said, illustrated at 8%. Well, where would somebody earn that type of money? Well, here's a chart. And if this was the only chart I showed you tonight and I said, look, if you were going to invest somewhere over the last 15 years and you had an opportunity to put your money in one of these vehicles, doesn't matter what they are at this moment, would you put it on the red line or would you want to be in an account like the red line or in an account like the blue line? Now, I know I've got you muted and you can't answer right now, but I'm overwhelmingly positive that everybody would pick the blue line. Now, there's a few reasons for that. Uh, now, first, let me, let me say that the red line is what the 15-year S&P performance has been since 1997 through 2012. And I think you'll see it kind of looks like the Rocky Mountains, right? It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. A couple of valleys in there, a couple of peaks in there. But overall, when you look at this blue line, you'll notice that, well, you don't see any of that. There's no big ups or big downs. It goes up a little bit, not quite as high as the red line. But in the down years, you'll notice that it's straight across, meaning no loss. Then it goes up again, and when it gets to another point here where we had a declining market here, you'll notice it goes straight across again. And then in this peak year, it goes up again. So there's a couple of obvious things to point out. One, there's more money in the blue line, right? 211000 versus 165. The other thing is, there are no downsides to the market here, which means that this program, which I'll share a little bit with you tonight, is designed for you never to lose money, and you can participate in most of the upside, but 0% of the downside. That's why you see in a downside marketplace like you have in Wall Street accounts, variable accounts, you do ride that volatility or risk that's associated and I think over the last 
10, 12, 15 years, people have had enough of losing money and having their accounts go up and down. But it gets worse, folks. See, in this red line here, there's something called fees. There are no, uh, there are no free lunches in the variable market world or the Wall Street world. They're anywhere from, I'll, I'll say, 1% to 3% fees, depending on what type of vehicle you're in. If I use a 3% fee, well, that's a 3% fee that is deducted from this account every day. Now, this is the pure S&P for the last 15 years. Most fund managers strive, and 95% of them never get there, to, to just uh, equate to the S&P returns. But the reason why they can't get there is because they have fees, typically 2%, in some cases 401Ks, qualified plans, as much as 3%, which really will erode this number over time, which is not reflected in the red line. And one other thing, folks, it gets worse, uh, taxes. Taxes are not being deducted from this account. So I think overall you can see why the blue line makes a whole lot more sense than the red line. But here's the question. Why isn't everybody on the blue line? Or why perhaps are you on this call never seen this before? Well, that's because nobody's ever given you the information. Maybe you didn't know that option existed. Well, that's what we're here for. We teach people how, how it works. We kind of call it, we call it the tic-tac-toe of, of finance where you win all the time. And here's why. If you look at the left side of the screen, you've got safety of principle. That's what everybody wants. Nobody wants to lose any money regardless of where they put it. Unfortunately, the only place you can really get safety of principle is fixed-type products, CDs, money markets, savings accounts. Problem, low returns. Well, I want the upside potential. Okay, well, the only place you can get that is in the red line, right? Variable products, Wall Street accounts, mutual funds, qualified plans, but in doing so, you risk principal. Well, so came about the index products, which emerged in the late 90s primarily. Uh, they actually started before that in some index funds back in the 70s, but in, in the mid-90s, they became a lot more popular. And what you basically have in an index product, you have safety of principal and the upside potential. It's the best-kept secret in the market today the underused and until now overlooked, it's called Section 7702 of the IRS. Now, the IRS has 93,000 pages in the, in the IRS code. Um, I don't know, and I would presume to think you don't know it either, but you probably heard some sections of it, like Section 401k. Well, this is Section 7702 that uh, assigns certain rules uh, for index or life insurance type products, which we're going to go into here. Uh, some of the features are money never goes backwards. All gains are locked in. It's completely liquid. You have access to cash anytime for any reason without penalties. And yes, folks, it comes out tax-free. So when we talked about taxes a few minutes ago. Here's the one thing we know. We know what taxes are today. Okay. In fact, at our highest bracket of 39.6, that there's only been two times in the history since 1913 that the IRS was born that there were only two times where taxes have been lower. The average tax over that period of time has been 62 percent. Back in after World War II was in the 90s and in the 50s and 60s, 91 percent. So we have some of the lowest tax brackets today, frankly, that we've had in years. Uh, so what we're saying is the predictability of what you know today is far better than where we think it could go, right? If we just look at a $16 trillion deficit, over $100 trillion in unfunded liabilities, unemployment, 8%, that's statistically probably more like 12 to 14%. I think if I had a show of hands how many people think taxes are going to go down in the future, you'd probably laugh at me if I said how many think they're going to go up. I would say almost unanimously everybody's hand would go up. So taxes are a problem, and what we're saying is if we take the government out of our savings vehicles, well, we don't have to worry about what taxes are in the future, right, if our income is tax-free. Uh, just to go on a little further about this, it protects against also judgments, probate, creditors, taxes, market risk. Provides cash for emergencies, debt, disability, illness, cancer, heart attack, stroke, 
long-term care, withdrawal without penalty, tax-free benefit to, uh, to as much as 120 years old, stock market returns with no downside. Your money blossoms when transferred to heirs, tax-free. See, one of the challenges we had with the way most people, 90 million people in this country put their money into qualified type plans and what happens in a qualified plan. We're taking a tax deduction today on the seed and we're paying it on the harvest. Just visualize that for a second and understand that when we need the money the most, which is at the point of retirement, is when we're taxed the heaviest on the lump sum of money. And secondly, what we don't use and passes on is taxed again. So the bottom line is the only plan, the only good plan is one that protects you and your family no matter what. And taxes are a big part of it. So we believe we have the perfect money solution. Um, And the perfect money solution is, uh, we call it the Swiss Army knife of finance. See, the probability of people dying before 65 is not a huge probability, although it can happen, right? So that's why we have life insurance in case we die soon prematurely, our family is protected. But there's a much higher probability of becoming ill. And as a matter of fact, seven out of 10 people who reach 65 will experience one of the big three, heart attack, stroke, or cancer. Folks, that is a big, big deal. The, the reality of it is, you probably know people, I'm sure you do, 60, under the age of 65, and they've had a heart attack, stroke, or cancer. Here's the good news, though. They lived. That's good news, right? Uh, medical advances have, uh, you know, people with heart attacks, 60% of them live after a heart attack, 70% of stroke, uh, you know, 98% prostate cancer, 87% breast cancer. People live. Here's the problem. If they have life insurance, the old kind, they can't get paid, right? They didn't die. So their families hurt from that. Why? Because the, one of the primary, one of the breadwinners became ill. So therefore, they cannot work at the capacity. Did you know that half of all bankruptcies in this country are due to medical expenses, but yet 75% of them had health insurance? See, it's not that they didn't have health insurance. It's the fact that they were out of work for six months or a year And once they drain their emergency account and perhaps any uh, retirement accounts they have, what happens? Mortgage still has to get paid. Car loans still have to get paid. So what happens? Bankruptcy occurs. And it was due primarily for medical expenses, but not because of health insurance. So what we're saying is, look, the probability is most people will live long and prosperous. However, what happens if we get sick along the way? We should be protected, right? Our plan does that. What happens if we die prematurely? Our plan does that as well. So that's why we call it the perfect money solution, and most people have not even heard of it, and that's why Freedom Equity Group is spearheading this nationwide. Okay. So to summarize this piece of it, and then I'm going to get into a couple of income slides, I just want to show you, uh, to, I'll call it old way, new way. We call it brother A, brother B. And here's what it is. You've got two individuals. They're both 35 years old. Uh, They're saving the same amount of money, earning the same 8% over the same period of time. Well, brother A does it the old way. What's the old way? Put your money in a qualified plan uh, with an employer match and buy term insurance. You know, the concept of buy term and invest the difference, right, to a point where, (coughs) excuse me, you reach retirement age and you don't need insurance anymore. That's the old school thinking, okay? So this brother A buys a 30-year term policy for 600000 Brother B says, you know what, I'm not going to take the, contra- the tax deduction today because tax brackets are low. I'd rather, I'd rather pay the tax on my money today because I know what that number is. After all, none of us on this call would buy a car if we didn't know the price or buy a house if we didn't know the price. So the fact is we don't know what taxes are going to be in the future. So why would we risk it to the future? It makes a whole lot more sense to have predictability and know exactly what our cost would be today. So Brother B says, I'm not going to take the pre-tax deduction. I'm going to put all my money in after tax, and I'm going to buy an index uh, life account, or we call it a life savings account, which is going to give me a $600,000 death benefit, and I'm going to put in $7,200 a year, similar to Brother A. 
So taking this out into the future, and I'm not going to go through all the numbers, but in 30 years, Brother A's got 858000 in his qualified plan and no more insurance, correct? Uh, Brother B's only got 709000 but he still has the death benefit because it's, it's in a life insurance contract because of 7702. Well, here's the important thing. Both brothers have made it to retirement, and what's the most important thing in retirement? It's not how big the pile of money you have. It's the income that you can generate from the amount of money you have. So Brother A starts pulling out $129,000 a year to receive a net benefit at only a 25% tax bracket of roughly $100,000 a year. Here's the problem. In nine years at age 74, he runs out of money. Big problem. Brother B, who had less money to start with, he's taking tax-free loans out of his life savings account of $97,000 a year. There is no tax because the money comes out tax-free. If he lives till age 100, he'll pull out $3.3 million, and he'll still have a $3 million tax-free benefit left for his heirs. I think it's crystal clear that it's not how much you make, it's really how much you keep. And more importantly, it's what income you need at retirement age that you cannot outlive. That's the important factor here. What are all the other pieces for? I call it plan completion. You know you want to get there, but if something should happen along the way, you want to make sure you're protected. But the ultimate goal is to get to these retirement years, whatever age you have that, because retirement is not an age, it's a financial status, where you can get to a point where you've got money that you can outlive. So having said that, uh, I want to just keep moving along here. We talk about an income opportunity with our company. Uh, you know, our full solution is to show people, obviously, how to get out of debt quicker, sooner, and, and fund themselves a tax-free retirement plan. And every time we do that, there's an opportunity to earn extra money. So clearly, if you were Brother A, I'm sure you'd want to be Brother B. I'm sure if you knew someone who was Brother A, they would also want to be Brother B once they understood that there was an option for them to pick. Okay? Well, part-time in our company, if you're, a, you know, if you're a, uh, an engineer or a teacher or a CPA, you want to earn some extra income part-time, you help one family a month. It's an additional $14,000 a year in income at one of our entry-level positions on our average plan, which is roughly about $300 a month. Now, before I go too much further with this, I, I don't want to lose, this, lose sight of the value of $1,200 to a family. I think every one of you, if you could just picture, no matter what status you're in right now, if on the first of every month there was $1,200 additional money on your table or in your checking account, uh, I think you'd all agree that that would help a lot of people in this country today. It might be a new car payment. It may be a vacation or both. It could be their retirement plan. In some cases, it could be a mortgage payment, rent payment, child tuition, a lot of things that that could do, just helping one family a month, learning some stuff in, in an environment where we do all the training uh, and, and to earn some extra income. Well, what if you help two families a month? Well, that's 30000 in. Some parts of the country, there are people working full-time not making this type of income, but they could make it in the financial service industry. And you say, why? Well, I don't know how many industries you know of that last year, 2012, paid out over $52 billion, would it be, dollars of earnings to financial service professionals. It's a very, very lucrative industry, and it's designed for that. Now, some of you here might be thinking a little bigger and say, well, you know, I, I'd like to consider myself an entrepreneur, and I liken our business, which is unique, to the real estate agency. Real estate is not a unique concept. I think people pretty much understand the concept of how real estate agencies work. You have a broker, typically owns the company. On average, they typically earn 6% when they sell a property, and they hire agents who work for the broker and earn a 3% commission. So clearly every time an agent sells a property, they earn 3% and the broker earns 3%. So if you were in this business, you probably want to be the broker because you have an opportunity to earn a passive income 
from training other agents to do what you do and duplicating your efforts. Here, here's the slight challenge with this model in America today. It's, it's both good and bad. It's a double-edged sword. In America, it's called the free enterprise system. Anybody has the opportunity to do what they want to do. And as an agent, you may be aggressive and say, you know what, I want to become a broker. And you by all means can. You go out and get your broker's license. You go down the street. You put your shingle on the door, ABC Realty. You go out there and hire agents, and you do the same thing. And this broker here who spent the time training you now has trained his competition. So there's an inherent flaw in this type of system, and it's also there in the insurance industry, in the general agency world, because you tend to lose your best producers in these systems. However, ours, we call it a profit share program. It's a very unique hybrid compensation program designed for growth. It's designed for duplication. It's designed to open more offices. Now, we have some entry-level positions in our company. Uh, as I demonstrated, at $1,200 a month, there's a sales leader position. Those are part-time positions. You can earn a little extra income. We also have what we call a vice president position. That's comparable to the broker position. They earn anywhere from 80 to 91% uh, compensation for a program. And they have the ability to hire agents just like a real estate broker would or a general agency would. And they can do that all across the country should they choose to. In the process of doing so, there are going to be some people that want to achieve the same status. I call them Bill, Mel, Pat, Sue, and Tom, for sake of example. And they go off and they, they get their own office and they become vice presidents, perhaps in different parts of the state or the country. But here's the difference in our system. Our profit sharing program is designed and encourages growth. It encourages expansion. You actually would earn in this scenario 9 to 20% on those offices or those producers forever while you're in our business at Freedom Equity Group. So therefore, you never lose your top producers. So it's an environment that encourages training, it encourages working with other people, and ultimately, the message gets out there to a lot more people as a result. So how does this all tie together? We talked about part-time income. Now I want to talk to you about a six-figure income or significant income. For some of you, that would be a career change. For some of you, it would be a breath of fresh air. And I think for the entrepreneur on this, uh, on this call tonight, these kind of numbers I think will get your attention. You become a vice president in our company, and you help six families a month. Uh, if you're doing a couple of them yourself, and maybe you have a few sales agents that are working with you part-time, and they're helping an additional four families a month. Your entire business, small business, is six a month, six families a month. That's a $129,000 annual income if you just did this each and every month. Frankly, this can be done part-time, okay? Having said that, what if you grew that business just a little bit larger and you got it to helping 10 families a month? Well, that's over $200,000 of income. Now, I preface this by saying, folks, the insurance and the financial service industry paid out over $52 billion in earnings last year. It's a very lucrative business. That's why these kind of earnings can be made. Well, what if you get a little bit more aggressive than that and say, you know, I get the whole concept of profit sharing, and I do want to develop and work with other agents, perhaps there's agents that you know around the country that are not happy with what they're doing. Perhaps you have some CPAs. There's nobody that I know of that was born in the financial service business. At some point in time, they made a career choice to either get involved in the business uh, or uh, or pursue that business on a part-time basis. Well, here's a scenario where you've got your small business here at, at 10 families a month, and you've just duplicated yourself with some other people. Maybe Bill, Mel, Pat, Sue, and Tom go out there, and they become half as good as you are, and they're helping 25 families a month. And maybe those 25 are helping another three. And now your business has grown from a small business to a medium-sized business, of over 100 families a month are being helped. But keep in mind, you're not doing any more than you were in the first place. You just duplicated yourself with some other offices to expansion. 
Well, that is close to a half a million dollar income a year. Now, I'm not trying to over-promote this or over-hype this by any means. I can assure you that if we put all zeros in here, the income is zero. So these are just real numbers based on products and services that we offer today and the opportunity that's available to those of you on this call that really are big thinkers and understand how the efforts of many may outweigh the efforts of your, of your own efforts, okay? By getting, I, I believe it was J. Paul Getty who said, one percent of a, I'd rather have 1% of 100 people than 100% of my own. And that is, in fact, true. This is how you can build a passive income through training and helping other people make money, okay? So with that said, what do I do? If I wanted to be a part of this company, what do I have to do? Here's what we say. Become an e-agent with us. Today, because of technology, as we are all in different parts of the country, sitting in the comfort of our own home, watching this presentation, clearly this business can be done. A lot can be done online. Learn our business completely online. We do training online. We have some of the best training in the industry nationwide, both on building your business and product training. Bring people to videos or online presentations just as you are right now and earn income from the comfort of your own home. Today, everything can be done online. There is really no need to necessarily go to meetings or necessarily meet people face-to-face. -face. A lot of things can be done because of the Internet and what it's provided today and that the financial service industry has evolved just like everything else, just like technology has evolved, the financial service industry has kept up with that with new innovative products and ways to reach the masses of people uh, for educational purposes, okay? So what's the next step? The next step that I recommend, whoever invited you here today clearly sees something in you. They wanted you to look at our business. They, more importantly, they wanted you to get the information. There's some serious things we talked about tonight. Uh, we talked about debt in this country, which is a huge problem. We talked about people having, frankly, the wrong kind of life insurance and the, the fact that 7 out of 10 people uh, before the age 65 statistically will face a critical illness. Uh, and, and those are people you know, and a lot of them don't know that there's a program out there that could provide some financial ease for their families should something happen like that. Just the other day, real quickly, uh, this is right on the top of my mind because it just happened. 36-year-old guy, uh, he's about to get married in, in, in Mexico at a destination wedding in, in two weeks, uh, goes out for his little bachelor party for, with the local family. The next day, has a heart attack, has a triple bypass at 36 years old. Now, I think you'd all agree that that guy and that that family little unit right there has completely changed financially because of what he may or may not be able to do going forward. So, folks, what we do is vitally important for families to get the information on. Secondly, the best way to learn our business, you can go online, you can Google us, you can read all about 7702, and you can do all that. The best way to learn about this company is to learn it from the inside. We suggest you get a code number with us. There is no cost to join our company. This is not a, uh, a network marketing company where you have to buy products and uh, pay monthly service fees for any of that. There is no cost to join our company. As a matter of fact, when you make a decision to come to work with us, we go to work for you by training you and teaching you our business. I suggest once you do that, you should set up a one-on-one -on -one online meeting with one of our vice presidents, learn this business, have them show you step-by-step step what you need to do, whether you're experienced or not. We have training programs to cater to you. And last but not least, don't forget to ask them about our fast start bonus for people uh, getting started in the first 30 days. So really, folks, the next move is yours. I think Freedom Equity Group is poised to do something very, very substantial in this country. We're the only company. We've got the highest payouts in the industry, and we've got a, a, a hybrid system designed for people to earn extra money while educating other families. So I appreciate you being on the call. Uh, I, I thank you for you know, taking time out for this last, I guess I went over maybe a couple of minutes, 32, 33 minutes, 
Uh, get together with the person who shared this with you. Find out how you can get more information. I'm sure that we answered a lot of your questions tonight. We may not have answered them all, and that would be the purpose of a one-on-one, -on -one, to get those final questions answers to see if this is for you or not for you. So, again, I thank you very much. Have a good evening. Thank you, Al.